What's up everybody? We made it to 2021. This is my first video of the year and I know it's been a while since I've made a video so thanks for tuning in. Um, and today I'm just going to kind of show you a quick easy meal and I'm going to give you a little bit of insight of what's been happening with my life these last basically few months. Um, with doing like YouTube videos and different things like that you come caught up in how you're supposed to look. So body image was a big thing for me when I was posting my videos and doing my videos in 2020. That's over, that's done with, that isn't me because you no, know, I just want to be authentic as possible. And I know that sometimes people you know, get all glammed up to shoot a video of cooking food. Like, what's the point? Like, that isn't me. I'm not going to get glammed up. I'm going to be comfortable. I'm going to be authentic. I'm going to be me. No, to all the makeup enthusiasts out there, kudos to y'all because that takes a lot of work and a lot of time. And I'm not going to sit here and do it to cook a meal. You know, I do this because I enjoy it. Um, it's like a little hobby for me. So it is what it is. So to, for 2020, the goal and object is to be, well, it's 2021. The goal and object is to be the best you that you can be. Put all the bull to the side. Just be true to yourself. And that's all you can do. You know, um, social media will have you feeling some type of way. Not really want to embrace, embrace. In okay, I need to learn how to talk in 2021 as well. Learn how to embrace who you are. Because, you know, of course, sex sales, beauty sales, but not all of us are supermodels. And it's okay to be who you are. As long as you love yourself at the end of the day, that's all that matters. So like I said, I'm going to be uh, doing videos because I like to do them. Because a lot of times, it's, you know, my how I looked stopped me from, you know, making a video. Because I'm like, well, I don't have this on my face is not done up and different things but you know it's a new year and i'm starting to realize that none of that's matter you know if you like my content you like my content if you don't you don't and i can't say when i'm going to post videos all i can say is you know hit the subscribe button hit the notifications and when i do post a video you'll be the first ones to know then always you know comment let me know how I'm doing. I'm not the best at it. I'm not the worst at it. But I'm just a person that's, you know, out here trying to have fun and trying to encourage people as I go through my different types of journeys and my stages of life and just trying to live the best way I can live. So like I said, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to quick a simple cook a simple easy meal. It's kinda of like a cheat type of meal. Um, most of it is kind of like store-bought, so mainly I'm just going to be focusing on like the vegetables and different things like that. So, if I kind of just show you guys some of my ingredients. Basically, you got a zucchini, some baby bellas, some artichokes, mozzarella, <clears throat> different types of cherry tomatoes, store-bought uh, mashed potatoes that I'm just going to warm up. But we actually going to cheat with the chicken. We got some curd wood. I think that's all these brand garlic or chicken. Of course, that's already thawed out. And I know, like, a lot of times when we have these type of already packaged meals, we want to make sure that we look at the sodium content. That sodium is hidden. So when it comes to, like, my vegetables and different things like that, I'm not going to use a lot of salt. Um, my season, I'm going to stick with the herbs. And then, of course, I do have the cheese. I'm not going to go heavy with the cheese. But we're about to get ready. And uh, I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy meal. So, you guys, you know what I'm saying? Tune in. It's going to be a wonderful experience. That's my tomatoes. Then, also, you know, if possible, you want to buy organic. It's a little bit better. A little healthier, but it's up to you as a personal preference. <clears throat> so if it's on sale, then I go for organic. If it's not, I won't because organic food can be very expensive. 
So just go upon what your budget is. If your budget isn't organic, then don't do organic. But if you can spring for some organic, then I'm going to suggest that you do it. Just the way that organic foods are grown, it's a little bit better than conventional. So we're just going to chop up these tomatoes. Then we're going to go with the zucchini. Um, since our mushrooms was already chopped up and sliced, they're already kind of in the pan with the chicken. Just chilling and hanging out. I said, no, don't let, like I said before, don't let anybody, you know, change your thoughts about who you are as a person or where you want to go in 2021. You know, you're an amazing individual. You know, as long as you encourage yourself, you don't need too much encouragement from any other person. Just keep doing what you want to do in life and try to be the best person that you can be. And I promise you, blessings is just going to rain down on you. Because that's the only thing that can happen when you be true to yourself and authentic in who you are. That's when God truly blesses you. So that's why it's like, today is like cooking an easy meal with a message. Let's do these zucchini up. You can cut them however you choose. I said this is a to be a quick, quick and easy, simple meal. Nothing too fancy. Cause sometimes we just don't feel like cooking. And but it's always cheaper to cook at home than going out. But if you want to treat yourself to go out to eat, it's good. And then of course we're still in the midst of this pandemic. So cooking at home, now I, I kind of find it relaxing. It's like a soothing hobby for me. So that's why I kind of enjoy it so much. Cause like I don't mind cooking, but even for a person who don't mind cooking, it can get a little tedious, a little stressful, trying to come up with different things to cook, making sure that they're healthy for you. So those always the toughies because I know for a fact myself I love to go for the non-healthy food but I also try to incorporate healthy things into my diet because the majority of the time I am a pretty healthy eater. It's the working out part that kind of gets me. Ew. Our chest is giving me a hard time getting open. So we're gonna take a few of the artichokes out. Dice them up. Oops. Didn't try to do that. Luckily it's paper towel right here. Get some of that oil water up. You know, usually most people eat, like myself, I eat artichokes, spinach artichoke dip, which kind of isn't the healthiest, but it's delicious. And that's kind of the only time I do go to eat some artichokes. But this time we just going to go ahead and eat up some artichokes. As a vegetable. Because they are pretty good for me. So I'm actually gonna use this whole little jar. And then what I am gonna do, I'm gonna actually put some of the vegetables on my chicken. And that's what they like the cheese come in as, like a little barrier. So we're just gonna actually take some. So actually then we're gonna go back, grab a few zucchini, grab a little bit of tomato, and kinda go back chop up some more stuff so we can have like kind of like a double portion of fruits of vegetables 
some like this one the actual chicken and then the ones that's gonna be on the side so just gonna take this just score a little bit put them in our bowl with the rest of our vegetables I'm already quite excited about this meal. So then with the foods I got, you know, this little stuff that I have left over, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller pieces. Because like I said, I want to actually put this on top of the chicken. give it the chicken a little bit more flavor just a tad bit not too much I mean it's kind of giving everything like a little rough chop don't have to be perfect cause like I said this is you're trying to do an easy meal not nothing too fancy I'm just gonna mix it right here on the cutting board so when I transfer it to the chicken it won't be it's already kind of mixed, so I can just take it and put it on there. Like I said we're going to bring that chicken and the mushrooms in. So I got my cutting board. So what I'm going to do is just kind of take some of the mixture and put it directly on the chicken. Like I said, our chicken is already seasoned, so that's something we don't have to worry about. We just want to add a little bit more flavor with the vegetables. I'm just going to put that on top like that, like this, like that. And then, of course, if you don't mean eat meat, this is alternatives you know, that you can do this with. Um, this seems like it go good with some eggplant or something of that nature. Then we got our mushrooms right here on the side. So now we're going to toss our other vegetables up in there. And like I said, we're not going to season it too much with... any sodium we're just going to try to just season it kind of with some herbs so we're going to grab that you know i'm saying grapeseed oil coat it a little bit it's a nice little drizzle And then we're just going to do something very simple. So we're going to do a salt-free table blend. So we're just going to keep it real simple. Like I said, that's the whole thing about this meal. Keeping it really simple. Almost as simple as possible. And then since it's like no salt in there, you can you know, do a little bit liberally. Actually, I don't think I'm going to move around these chickens. This is our tested chicken. I don't like to cross contaminate whatsoever when it comes to utensils. So I'm going to grab me a new spoon and just kind of mix them all in there. And if you feel like you need a little bit more season, go ahead and season up a little bit more. Because like I said, it's a salt free blend, so you don't really have to worry about the soap. Because most of our sodium is already going to be inside of our potatoes and our chicken. And then, of course, when the meal is done, you can go ahead and add a little bit more sodium to your liking. Ooh, don't that look good? That looks mighty, mighty tasty already. 
So now what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of mozzarella cheese. See, and the mozzarella cheese I showed you at the beginning. You know, whole foods, you know, try to keep it as natural as possible when it comes to certain things. Like I said, I'm not going to add a little bit. I just want to use it primarily as a binder. And then I'm going to go ahead and toss this in the oven. Once again, at 375 for about 20 to 30 minutes into the juices in our chicken. And of course, Ron's pretty clear. Alrighty. And there you have it. I don't know about you, but once I'm done cooking and cleaning, I don't want to wash another dish. So yes, paper plate it is. 2021 is the year of being true and honest to yourself. You guys, hope you enjoy. This looks delicious. Um, you guys, have a good one. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the little notification so you won't miss a video. Thank you so much. Y'all have a blessed day.